I think that what I'm going to do is going to impact climate science. So I studied abroad in Copenhagen, Denmark, and I took a class called Ice Cores and Ice Ages, which is where I learned about the field of paleoclimatology. And they took us to Greenland where we learned about the ice cores and we like hiked up on the ice sheet. It was a really great experience to kind of get hands on and see what the ice core scientists are doing. And they really connected the class to how they're using ice core science to model and understand where the climate is going in the future. And each of those experiences has kind of built my confidence and feeling like I could be a researcher. The research I've done in the Environmental Earth Science Department has been the most influential. And I've worked with a couple different faculty members who really encouraged me to be involved in research from a young age and just really helped build my confidence in research. And then now I work with Dr. Daniel Fries. He's a really great mentor and he's kind of helped me not only with my honors thesis, but also with the application process for the Gates Cambridge Scholarship. So the Gates Cambridge Scholarship specifically is really committed to improving the lives of others. And so any kind of research project that you propose has to have some sort of connection to that. The project that I propose to do at Cambridge is looking at three interglacial periods to understand what the temperature was in each of those times and then from that understand how the earth responded to that temperature. And so basically we're doing this so we can better understand what happens to the earth when it's warm because we're expecting warmer temperatures in the future and we want to know what's going to happen. You know, will certain ocean currents turn on or off? Will this ice sheet melt? Things like that. I felt like my project had a good connection to helping us better understand the climate system, which would in turn help us better prepare people for anthropogenically caused climate change. I'm really excited that I won the award. I'm excited to go to Cambridge and meet a new network of people. And I'm also just really grateful for all the people that helped me. So all of my advisors at Tulane who've been really helpful and the people in fellowship advising that were really beneficial in helping me prepare for the interview.